another episode of Big Boxes. Today we will be doing some modifications and attachments for the big book, but before that let's talk about some important news. So videos. Um, as you've probably known, school has started again and so has work for me. So, <coughs> it's a lot harder to edit videos now. Yeah, I will still be doing YouTube. It might take a little longer for me to edit videos, like this one. This might, this one may come like weeks after I record it. And then I'll probably end up editing it and then not posting it. Because I'm too lazy. I mean, I'm too busy to do it. As you can probably hear and tell, we're using a different camera right now. Um, I just wanted to see how it goes, to see if the video quality affects anything. So far, it's very bright. Let's get into it. Now let me find the big book. seen it on the channel before. It's pretty big, but we've kept it in the storage room, the storage room of death, which I'm now renaming it because we're not working shopping in there. If you don't know what this is, this is a piece of sketchy gorilla glue. And yes, I do use the sketchy gorilla glue. But we have another issue with the sketchy gorilla glue. This gorilla glue is half done. It's also very hard to open. And I always use this tripod to open it. Don't ask me why. Yes, now that I've been able to twist it. This is the sketchy Gorilla Glue. Um, warning, eye and skin irritants store away from children. So, <laughs> as you can probably not tell, it's about halfway done. This is the glue area. That's not a good thing because I have to use a lot of Gorilla Glue. I don't have to. It ends up popping up. But still, if it... This is an issue that we've been needing to fix. Um, the insulation is quite fine, but how we fix up these cracks and crevices... I remember, I think in the Death Drone episode, we might have... Yeah, no, I fixed it, but... You see, the thing is, this cannot bond cardboard very well. It's only good at... Oh, I'll try to find a thing that's good, good at... Ah! No! Oh, my finger! Just kidding, there, there is no bathroom in the basement. Well... Alright, yes, I busted the cap. So, since I busted the cap, I cannot close it properly. <coughs> yes. We could add an attachment to the box inside. Oh, it doesn't really have... Oh my god, the... Why is it not manually focusing? So, yeah, as you can see, this is a cart. Now, you probably don't see my face in here, but that is me. We put this box inside the cart. Hey, who is that? Well, you look at that. This is exactly what I was going to make an attachment for. How fun! Wow! Okay. So we have this cart right here. And we have this box. Ah! God, how? <coughs> but as you can see, or you can't see because the camera is too far away. We have a bit of an issue. If I pick this box up and put this box... <coughs> Actually, we have two issues. One, the box is too tall for the ceiling. 
and two. You see, the box is too wide, so we will have to an attachment <coughs> that the box can fit inside and connect. To. Basically, we have to make it modular. So, yes. Before I do that, so here's my idea. We take this, we mold it so that it goes in there, and then we put another one of these pieces of cardboard, and then we put it so that the box, the big box, can go in. So we'll just get to that. So a very strange postures. So a very silly, funny thing happened. Um, eye and skin irritant. So, anyways, there's another issue with Gorilla Glue, and that is that it typically takes overnight for for it to fix and dry completely. So see you in a week. Bye! Oh god, spider webs. So yes, a major downside of keeping stuff in the storage room of death is that it all gets spoodered and uh, there's spooter webs all over it. And by spooters, I mean spiders. So yes. I remember when I was doing a testing off camera for the big buck, there's like spider webs all over it. And there's like two massive spiders and I was inside of it. And then I noticed it and then I jumped out and then it fell on me, so. The box, not the spider. Yes, now I have to dump out all the Yes, there's lots of disgusting stuff. Just dump it out. Luckily, it's a very sunny and not so freezing day. Yes, I'll get to the. Is it in 30 frames per second? Oh, God. Oh, not this thing again. Almost one year of adjusting the camera. So, if you did notice the, um, the survival. If you watched the Mount Washington video, then you would have seen or noticed that um, the frame rate was in 30 FPS. And I tried to switch it up because a lot of people say that F30 is better than 60. But I've noticed that 60 is actually my kind of style of video recording. 2.7K, I don't really know. 60 I need for my videos. So yes. We will have uh. So, the sketchy Gorilla Glue, um, it dried. There's like lots of, tons of cracks. Delicious, large gaps. I'm not very sure if that's going to be an issue in the future with this thing, but... Now it properly fits inside the cart, and, uh... Yeah, before we put the big buck in it, remember, without getting into the specifics, this is heavy, and this is very flimsy. If you put something that's very heavy on something that's very flimsy, which one will break? This one, or this one? This one. Yes, you answered correct. So, I am going... Oh, yes. Very good poster. <coughs> no, that you didn't see that. So I'm going to put this support here, and it actually fits. That's actually very good. Only for package protection can be discarded. This is a package, and I will be in it. Yeah, it's about the same width. It should support because there's a pretty good weight distribution. So if we keep it, if we keep it here, 
around here but on on the bottom there should be pretty good weight distribution so if i'm on this side it won't hang over i'll think about that later because it probably will and if i'm on this side i won't uh, if i'm in the middle i won't like fall through so let's just yeah let's get on The glue gun is heating up, so it's time to do some glippy dance moves. So I've actually decided to put on some uh, sketchy Gorilla Glue under first, because I don't want it to like... Remember when the big buck was covered by, um, you see, the hot glue from Gorilla is pretty good, but it's only temporary. Eventually, we have to replace it with stronger, more strengthy, stronger, more powerful, and strong. Okay, <laughs> let's just read it. We have to replace this stuff with more strong compounds so that it can um, resist more force being put on it and more weight and since I have gained 10 pounds since last year <laughs> um, we will need sketchy guru and this big buck is also pretty heavy ow 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 so uh, we'll have to take care of that and there, another terrifyingly, some scrumdiddly, terrifying part of this hot glue gun is that it melts. It actually started smoking on the big buck earlier when I was recording that video in May. So I, if I keep it plugged in too long, it's not going to be a good day to be me. Yes. So unfortunately, I think we will have to s let it dry overnight again. As it is sketchy Gorilla Glue, and we'll... Hold on. I guess we have something else to do. He so, you see here, take three. So we don't want anything to go up here. So we have to um, close that gap. We also want to close this gap, and the... Why was ever finding a good place to position the camera hard? So, the hot glue, it stays a bit hot after I unplug it because it's metal. So I can just use it a bit after unplugging. And to make sure it's recording right, it is. Now I can continue. This is a gap that we have to cover, uh, obviously, because we don't want any issues. <clears throat> and that's mainly why I unplugged the gorilla hot glue, hot glue gun. The um, exceedingly warm glue compound output machine. Guns aren't allowed in moist, mo moist places. British. I hire them to accent. Why? So guys, I think I'm just going to stop recording for that much and just finish up things around the box. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next clip. Okay. Yes. Yes, we're back. Um, the Gorilla Glue has... Well, yeah, I, I put it on the bottom. 
But anyways, uh, yeah, it's all dry. So last uh, clip I filmed on Tuesday. This clip is uh, Saturday of November 11th. So um, today is Veterans Day. We should give thanks to veterans who have done service for our country, and we should be grateful that we have this country. And we should be motivated to do good for people around us. So, yes. <laughs> Obviously, we have the big buck here. I am. Oh. I went ahead and closed up these gaps. There's like. I guess we'll just call these spooter webs because they're not really spider webs and they're kind of like spider webs. But they're not really. I don't remember when I... Oh, yeah, I, I fixed these gaps, as you can see. This is um, covered in glue now. All this is good. So, uh, I think we should test the current iteration of the box trailer. Which I think it's what we're going to call it, the box trailer. Yes. <clears throat> so, let's get to it. Ah yes, the weather is very cold today. It's intense cloudy. Uh, yes. I don't know if there's an egg in there. Oh. There was, like, last spring or something. I don't know. Okay, so this thing, this contraption, the box trailer modular attachment, as we'll call it for its full name, because it is a modular attachment for the big flutter. This, it makes creaking noises and the glue kind of separates when I'm lifting it. And that's not necessarily a good thing. And now there's another issue. I just realized that it's not sitting on frame, but most of it is sitting on this textile material. Only this very small bit is sitting on frame. And that's not much of a good thing because if it's not sitting entirely on frame then it's going to like sag in some areas and it might move or oh god yeah it might move around and there it goes Here we encounter another issue. It doesn't stay on this thing. In fact, this thing moves around and it sags around. And this box keeps sliding off. And it's not even centered. You see, there's nothing to hold it in place. Maybe we could jerry rig some ropes or something. But we need to fix that in the future. Yes, so onward with the testing. Okay, 
So you see, there is another issue with this box thing. As you can see, this box is very high in the air, and it's a particularly... Say that. Say particularly three times fast. And you'll understand my misery. It's a very windy day. So as you can see, the box just fell down. Perfect time. So that's an issue. Along with the issue of not staying on the thingy. Yeah, there's another issue up ahead. As you can see, I don't think the GoPro records it correct, but this is a very steep incline. It's, it's going this way. It's going up. That is very far away. It goes up here. And this box is already sitting over there, head planted. How are we going to pull it up here and make sure it stays on properly? So we'll just skip this section and hold it for later, and we'll take it onto the road. And, along with a major issue, we found a major solution. If we lay it on its side, it should be able to... ring we should be able to uh, make sure it doesn't fall off and we have another issue which we will fix soon sooner than later yes now for the road test Hey, it doesn't function that bad. This is a very solid thing. As you can see, this is a pretty big bump for those tires. Not saying that those tires are bad or anything, they're actually really good. But this is quite the ledge. And it handled just fine, it didn't fall off like it used to. Yes, nice and warm. So, to wrap up the video, that modification, that modular uh, trailer attachment, that is very good. Um, you probably can't hear me, so I'll bring the GoPro here. Yes, I, I thought that was going to be very cool, but apparently it wasn't. Um, yes, the attachment was a very good idea. And the box did stay alive. Big duck. B b b duck. What? What happened to the? We did fix up the big buck. Some places it was having gaps all over it, and now it's fixed. Not the inside, but the exterior. And this is a very solid thing. We did not find a way to make sure it's stat stay in stand. Understand my pain. We didn't find a way to make it so that it stands upright on the modular big buck trailer attachment. But it did go well and it did pretty good on that incline once we put it on its side. This is definitely not finished. We will continue fixing this. But I think that's long enough for this video to last. Um, because I won't get any views, so please do watch my videos, and a very small amount of people who are subscribed to watch my videos. <laughs> and I'm saying that right, I'm not trying to be one of those guys who do the graph thingy.
so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe. I would really like that. It really helps out. I think we're at 69 subscribers now, so there's only one more to go until we reach 70. The next big test. And that's like a big step for me. We are at like 28 for like two years, one year. I don't know. But yes, I really do appreciate if you subscribe. Um, watch more big book videos. I'll be pu putting this video on the playlist too. The boxes, big boxes playlist. Or just whatever it's named. See you guys later. Adios, my friends. <laughs>